Hey, what's going on guys? It's Relic, and today I'm showing you guys my top 5 favorite survival maps in Minecraft. So first we're going to be starting off with Atlantis, which I like this map. Well, first you start in this little, like, I don't know, enclosed area before you start off the map. You know, it just tells you a little bit about it. And then you click to spawn, and let's just get in here. And you start underwater. Now, I like this because it involves... I don't know, a lot of different ways to kind of build and figure out what to do. You know, to expand, you have to really, like, place blocks all around and then get rid of all the water. So it makes it, like, a lot more unique, I guess. And then there's also, like, other things in the distance, you know. There's some things to explore a little bit. Not too much, but, you know, it's more basic. But anyway, I really like it. And you also start with night vision, so I don't know, just, I guess, as... Well, actually, let's see what it does. I don't actually know. Does it make it, like, a lot clearer? Oh. Ew. It lets you see through the water a lot better. Oh, that's really interesting. But, yeah, as you can see, you know, there's trees to, you know, get your wood and stuff. It's, it's definitely a lot harder than most survival maps, actually, because you have to try to get over to your trees and wood and stuff. I don't know. I find it really interesting. Also, you know, this blocks it, so you kind of look around. I don't know. It. I really like this, actually. I'm surprised this is only coming in fifth for me. I guess because, you know, I expect a little bit more to be in spawn. I don't know. But anyway, it's still a really nice map. I have a really hard time trying to raid all my maps. I don't know. I like them all so much. So anyway, next is actually good old Survival Island. Now, if you don't know what Survival Island is, then... uh. I don't know, you've been living under a rock or you just started playing Minecraft or something. But Survival Island is basically like the first ever survival map that came out, so I feel like, you know, it kind of needed to get a spot. This one is like a fan-made kind of one, it's not the original because it got taken down like a long time ago, which sucks. I always wanted to play the original Survival Island. But this one's pretty close, you know, you start off with some materials, which the regular Survival Island you didn't. They just, um... Like, if you actually need anything, I think they had, like, sugarcane kind of placed up. I think that's really all they gave you. So, honestly, I like the real survival island, more, like, better. And I probably would have placed it higher if I actually had the real one. But still, nonetheless, you can still get a nostalgic feeling just by playing on this map. Anyways, on to the next one. We're going to be going to... Skyblock Survival. <laughs> almost forgot what uh what one I picked for my ratings. But if you guys also don't know what Skyblock is, I guess you're living under a rock also. Because um this is also like the second biggest survival map. I've played I've did I've did three let's plays of this on like all my old channels I did a let's play on every single one of it. So um I don't think I'm gonna be doing a let's play of it anytime soon on this channel. But it's very fun. And you see you start with like nothing but over there, there's actually, like, a chest, and, um, you can build another portal. Actually, probably shouldn't spoil that. But there's materials over there, and it's still really fun, because this is all, like, this is all your creativity. Because you really have nothing here. You just have to make everything yourself, and I find that kind of interesting. And, uh, definitely fun if you're a creative person. I'm not really a creative person. So, if I was, I'll definitely like this map a lot more than I do now. On to the next one. We're on to Floating, which it's actually called, like, Floating Island Survival or something. I don't know why it's just named Floating, don't ask me. But this is a really, like, it's really different. Um, as you see, there's islands all around. There's, I think, over, like, I don't know, I think there's over a hundred at least. So, it's not your traditional survival where you're kind of stuck in a secluded area. There's a lot of areas you can do go to. And each of one of these islands kind of has their special own... Some of them have, like, a dungeon. Some have just, like, ores kind of scattered down. It's really, really fun. Because it's definitely a new twist to Minecraft. And, well, Minecraft survival, that is. And also just regular Minecraft. I mean, it's really fun. You can also download a map where uh, it's just a void at the bottom. There's no water. I just um, put water this time because, I don't know, 
I usually I go for hardcore, but I don't know why it has water. But yeah, you can get a hardcore version, so if that's turning you off, there you go. So yeah, I really like this map, and I played this map for a long time with my friend, actually. I found it really fun. On to the next map, which would be second place, would be, um... Where is it? I don't even know. Or, no, that was second place. On the first place! World in a Jar! Now, World in a Jar, I've seen it in first place in another top five, so that kind of, I was like, eh... But it is a really great map. Like, it's amazing. I really love it. It's like... It's like Survival Island, but then you have more things to explore. Whoa, just burped there. And also, more things you can kind of add on. Like, as you can see, there's mycelium up there. And lots of other things that will make it a lot more fun than just Survival Island. I guess that's... Well, that's why I put it above Survival Island, at least. So my top two ones are kind of more um, different than the regular survival, but they definitely are survival, and they're really fun. Like, as you can see, they have a lot of different things around there. In fact, I don't I don't even know what that one is, because I can't even see with my render distance. And there's spiders that won't shut up. Alright, you want to fight? Uh, guess not, because I don't have a pickaxe. But um, that come that's coming to an end for my top five survival maps. So, if you guys liked it, don't forget to leave a like, and if you're new, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And until next time, see you guys later.